Good afternoon and thank you all for joining us for our session on Building Re Business Resilience with a Productive Mobile Workforce. I'm Vivian, Managing Director of HP Inc. in Singapore. Firstly, I hope you and your families are all staying healthy and well at home, right? COVID-19 ha ha has affected many of us, both personally and professionally. We are now living in a new normal with uh, many business owners experiencing a lot of change and, and uh, feeling a sense of uncertainties around our disrupted workplaces. Now, today we hope to share our learnings as a business, address your top of mind issues, and also support you on your journey towards ensuring your business survival and sustainability during this difficult time. Business continuity, social distancing, these are common buzz phrases that you are hearing these days, right? And the government has also announced many new budget and help that's extended to the businesses to survive through this recession and hopefully thrive um, and recover way faster after this, uh, uh, this incident, right? And also schools has been moving to full home-based learning. Starting today, my kids are also learning from school, uh, from home, right? And also as of yesterday, all essential businesses will be open and non-essential business will be closed till May 4th. This currently is the new normal that we live in, right? For businesses, for employees, our partners and customers, and even for ourselves. So changing our mindsets to adopt to this new normal is very necessary for our survival together and we come out stronger. Like many companies around the world, HP Singapore, we have also mandated our people to work from home, right? As the companies change to survive, our employees' work style, lifestyle has also changed uh, with the remote working environment. In fact, many of our companies, even our own companies today, have asked our people to, hey, take home whatever office equipment that you need in order to help you work from home. Your headsets, your keyboard, your mouse, your office monitors, or even office printers, bring it home to help you work from home. Now, as we change our mindset to adopt to this new normal and leave our offices behind, as business leaders, we also need to help our employees adjust to this work environment when they keep their productivity high working from home as well. So when we are speaking to our SMB customers, they have also shared with us concerns that you see here, right? Uh, typical concerns about, you know, is my employee really working? Are they on call all the time? Now, to me as a local leader for, for HP, my priority is clearly my HP work family. Um, I believe that in creating an environment powered by technology will help my people to work and to grow personally and professionally in a way where it best suits their lifestyle and no matter where they are, whether they are at home or, or you know, sitting in the living room or working in their room, right? By embracing the change, they will then be better prepared for current and also future disruptions uh, that will emerge from this challenge and to become stronger and more resilient than ever to, to face the future. To ensure that our business can keep on, keep going on in this new normal of working from home and survive the current challenges that you are facing. Here are some of the best practices that potentially can help you uh, on your journey as well. Productivity. Keeping productivity high for our employees is very much the top of mind for a lot of SMB owners, right? Now, the success of a remote team depends very heavily on the tools that they are equipped with. Right. Productivity can be impeded by various things. For example, if your employees have problem connecting to the network, uh, if their PC crashes, if they are multitasking with uh, several programs, these are clearly indicators that your employees' productive will suffer in the remote work envir environment. Now, as business owner, we also want to make sure that you are actively addressing these issues to make sure that the productivity for your employees are kept high and the downtime low. So what do you do, right? Basically, what you really need to do is to leverage the right technology, get the right technology to create eff efficiency for your workforce. Now, I'm quite sure that you notice in, in your workplace, everyone works differently. In fact, in year 2020, marks the year that 
in a company itself, right, typically you will have five generations of people working in the same company altogether. And now the trend is more produced than ever. Now in our new normal, um, there are some things that you need to consider when your people are working from home. Number one, empowering your people with the right, uh, perform right uh, devices so that they can work to their full potential. Secure the information that matters to you and your business. Make sure that you have security software built in, uh, webcam queue switch, integrated privacy screen like SureView on your device that you can block off people from viewing your information when you're working. Now, we also need to align technology to the specific work that each of your user does. For example, if you have an accountant, clearly he will need an extra screen to see his spreadsheet. Right? If you are a creative um, person that is doing design, then you will need a very powerful uh, workstation to be able to carry out your design uh, document. So understanding the way your employees work and equipping them with the right equipment will be able to create the efficiency amongst your workforce. On top of that, we also need to leverage collaboration tools to help your workforce connect with each other and collaborate seamlessly. Now, since we started working from home uh, exercise at HP, right, I clearly realized that how close my work family is were to each other. You know? um, in fact, it's not just working together. Because of the time that we spend together in the office, they felt that you know, they are just away from another family, you know, from their work family. So when we recently launched um, HP Print and Play in Singapore, some of our colleagues, right, they literally uh, went to the website and download free publicly available creative print activities so that they can do with their kids and also at the same time share with each other uh, virtually on, on, uh, on the collaboration tools, right? And the team will continue to build their bond and also keep their spirits high as they are working from home. Now, the good news is that whether you are in your SMB or a company like HP or corporate like HP, the tools and apps that connect people are available for you, right? And these are some of the tools that you can explore for your business. Uh, do stay connected. It, is, it makes a difference uh, to productivity while keeping you and your people going together and keeping the spirit high. Now, cultivating the trust uh, with your team and across different locations. Trust together with integrity and respect forms the HP way. For us, this motto has helped us weather through many different changes uh, in the business landscape over the years for, for HP. This year, we celebrate our 50th anniversary in Singapore. And, and this trust together with integrity and respect clearly forms the way that the company has been moving along for the past 50 years that we have. Now, what we want to really ask business owners to do right now is clearly to reimagine how you as a manager and a business owner and your employees can work and collaborate and maintain a high level of trust in each other. And th these are some things that you can consider in building a, a level, a culture of trust, integrity and respect across the different level of business that you have, right? Number one, stay connected with your team. Checking in with them uh, once a day on a project to get an update on your projects or, or even asking a, about their day, right? Be clear about what needs to be done by giving them clear guidelines and expectations amongst the different team members. And also celebrate the achievement together. Uh, celebrate little wins that you have through a remote working environment. Now, as we go into this journey, as business leader, we need to recognize that this transition is not going to happen overnight. In a time of fluid change, we really need to trust and support each other and empower each other through technology to keep our business going. This needs to happen now for us to embrace change, survive and thrive. Thank you. Okay, so now I really would like to uh, introduce Irene. Uh, I'm sure Irene is no stranger to all of you. Uh, she's been a longtime friend for HP and also the CEO of Fly Entertainment in Singapore. Um, we're very happy to have her, right, to share her experience and talk about how she leaned into change, leadership and building a culture to ensure her business survival in this new normal. So Irene, thank mm. you very much for joining us. Thank you, Vivian, and thank you to everyone who tuned in. Uh, I know some of my 
business collaborators and my colleagues are tuning in to support. Thank you. Because as you all may not know, this is my first ever webinar experience in my life. So I, I need to get used to this because I'm used to live events. So I'm, I'm sure you, you're very used to this, right? <laughs> Being in a MNC like that. Yeah, we yeah. do presentations a lot. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we have a lot to learn from you. And later your PowerPoint also lend me. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> I particular, particularly like the trust one. It's very, very challenging for me. Yeah. And, and, and I think um, it's, it's really nice that we're doing this for the, the members of SCCCI. Uh, and, and I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm not the guru here. In fact, we're just sharing here with everybody. And I, I'm probably the voice for the, the SME. Lah. Right. Correct. Correct. <laughs> so clearly, we also want to. Very happy to have you here. Yeah. And um, I know I'm in very the, happy to be here. <laughs> in the past few months, um, by getting into this new normal, we know businesses go through a lot of changes. Yes. And uh, would like to also find out from you, from a business owner perspective, right? How does this new normal look like for you? And do you think that it's necessary to change to adapt to this new normal? Well, first of all, I think. Um, the fly entertainment tagline is we are the change we want to see. And, and, and it may seem very simple, but, but change often begins with the mindset. And even myself, sometimes I struggle with old habits or old stubbornness or uh, old beliefs. Or, you know, some, so so when, when this thing hit us, in, there about Chinese New Year, right? What, my life, I think, has been, my emotional life, I'm sure all of you also have go through this, especially the Chinese Taukes and all, right? It's just going through up and down, up and one day you feel, hey, I've got it, I've got it because I've done this before, I've done SARS, global crisis. You think you've got it. Next day, something will happen, you're like, huh? Then what I do now? Then after that, next day, you know, so it just go up and down, up and down. And, and I think it's not a choice anymore whether you want to change or not. It is a fact now that you must change. You must change, you must quickly find collaborators, internal collaborators within your company um, and external collaborators. So for example, what I mean by internal collaborator is I can't be everywhere and I'm not every department, right? So technically, uh, it would be nice if I can make decisions for everything, but if I can't, then, then some people have to do so. So like for example, one of my HOD will be the one who exercised this rule for stay home, no, uh, sorry, uh, team A, team B, after that, we change the team A, team B, and then technically, what do we do? How do we move the VPNs? You know, we are in artist management business, so our con content and our information is, is not like the bank la, or the HP, the kind of secret you know, what technology. Ours is the, the, the size of the pens, <laughs> the height, the, 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 the birth dates, because a lot of these things are very sensitive also, um, and their income. So, it is always, I'm always against moving things online uh, and plus we still have like server but but we all have to understand that this is business unusual already so business unusual means that you have to uh, not leave the high-tech uh, webinars and, and and cloud thing to these hp's companies you know or microsoft of the world or the facebook of the world it means everyone including sme have to move already if you want to survive so unless you are telling me that you are at this retirement stage and then you have so, you just sold three bungalows and then you have 10 millions in the bank and you don't think you can last another 10 more years alive, then you don't do anything. Anyone who wants to remotely stay alive and live have to change. I think change is so... Yeah, I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, you're so <laughs> right, right? So given the fact that everybody is now working from home and mm. now you kind of have to conduct a lot of things virtually from your home, yeah. right? Uh, what are the challenges that you initially faced when you started this BCP pro uh, protocol? You see, for, 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 for some of my business functions in Fly, uh, they are very used to doing Zoom because they, they work with American agency or projects from overseas, Australia. And, uh, so they're very used to it. But the other functions like us, we are still, I'm still at the WhatsApp level. You know? Then the, the admin people are still at the desktop level. <laughs> And, and, and SMS and WhatsApp uh, messaging. At least I go do video call. La. And then uh, I also have my FMB business. And some of these business cannot be replaced by uh, uh, work from home. Because uh, like, for example, when the government announced that my bar have to be closed, like any other bars, uh, we were worried firstly about that. And then after that, we worried that, oh, now 
never mind, we, we move the bar people to work team A, team B in the bistro, you know, our fry rooftop bistro. Then move up ready. Then suddenly, one week later, oh, no, 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 cannot even. And then, what? So you must, you must stay connected. You are very right. So how do you stay connected? You, you, you tune in, you, you are connected to people. Um, I, I find particularly important if you haven't have a support group, uh, SME support groups, like I have other SME, I mean, Maybe here I would just like to highlight, for example, Estream, our business consultant. Like she's checking on me every day because she's also a fellow boss and she checks on a few of her, her clients. So you need to have support. Or, or I will check on my, 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 my financial uh, consultant, our company's business consultant, who will be sending me all the loans and all the rates. So you need a network. So connect is not just only technology connect that's important, which is very important, but we also need to connect with People, like-minded people. Yeah. And I particularly find this period of time, I have no patience for negativity, like zero, zero tolerance. <laughs> so I think, I think uh, one of the initiatives that SCCI has done is also to organize webinars like this. Yes. To help business owners overcome some of these challenges, right? I think um, being members of the SCCI, I'm sure you have a lot you learn a lot mm. from, from some of these webinars that is being organized as well. Actually, right? actually, now that you mentioned, right, it's not just only SCCCI. I mean, like, I've been in the event uh, industry for so long. I only recently joined the STARS Association, which is the Association for Event Resources. These people in front of me, mending these webinars, are also from STARS Association. So you join, and then, you know, I, I want to highlight that there's a lot of support in the group, a lot of positive people cheering each other on and like now some of them are building the expo there, building the community hospitals and all. There are people going to help and the people are exchanging partner, uh, staff, like, hey, I'm not enough, I give you, hey, I got extra. So I think we can see this brotherhood, people who, are, who, were, who used to be competitors are coming together. I mean, this is one thing that, that, that I never see in all the other crises. Mm. This is one thing that I saw being in that chat, just observing. Then sometimes I post some video or some jokes. Uh, then, uh, most of the time, I, I see how they find solutions for each other. And someone will say, hey, I missed the, actually this law. Hey, this one how to apply. Uh. Nobody will say, hey, you stupid. Uh. You don't know how to read. Uh. Nobody will say, somebody will say, oh, hey, bro, go to this place. Hey, sister, go to this place. Oh, uh, I give you a private call. I can see the camaraderie amongst the support. And that, that really greatly touches me, you know. Um, I, I think that we really have to change the way we work. We, it's no longer competition. We remove the word competition from the industry for the temporary COVID period. It becomes collaboration. So, so change, connect, and then now we need to collaborate with people. Correct. Internal collaboration and external collaborations. Correct. I think it's truly the essence of survival of the fetus at this yeah. point in time. Right? So at this point in time in your business, how does technology help you in... In, uh, in your business? So this technology is good and bad. Nah, huh? okay, it's because of technology, everything becomes very, very convenient. Huh? So everybody can see my house look like what? Because huh? <laughs> every day on video call, and, and, and now I, every day we kind of have to think, hey, today my backdrop should be where? Uh, the move, the laptop to the kitchen. I am not nice, not nice. This painting is <laughs> uh, a bit... Uh, uh, then, well, now the, my current uh, backdrop is the bookstore. Uh, I mean the bookshelf. So technology also helps you to keep in touch. So now... Instead of holding my phone, which is good because my finger very tired already. Now it's uh, it's on my laptop, and the good thing is you can put earpiece, you know. So so you, as long as you have your usual equipment, you know, your sanitizer, your mask, if you know. Uh, so no, now now my handbag are uh, not put the Mac cosmetic, you know. It's the uh, three masks lah, two sanitizer because I always lose things. One, you see, even as a human being, as a normal person, your lifestyle change. That's correct. Your handbag things are priority. Uh, it's no longer your your. Your, okay, credit card is still need. Like, you no longer your perfume or whatever. It's really uh, make, make sure I have extra mask, make sure I have extra sanitizer. So why can't we also change the way we work? So, so bringing homework at first, um, maybe you ask, maybe your kids might know better. Like for me, I ask my staff, then they have to talk me through. Then I will say, how come you all can put your document on the the team one? Uh? Uh, then <laughs> my dear, hey, don't 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 ask. Like, I tell you later. <laughs> don't, don't <say> <laughs> you know? So, but I think if you ask, this is the best time to ask because a lot of people also don't know. You don't wait until this is over, uh, then you start asking, uh, you become very smart already. But you realize that nowadays technology are made so easy for you to learn. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. That time my friend also told me this story that something wrong with her outlook. She said, wow, the US people call her and then talk her through to solve the problem. 
So I was quite impressed because with technology, they the person can 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 talk her through. They can see the face. You don't even need to bring. Last time you bring the laptop, go and queue up at the customer service, right? Now you don't need really. Yeah, clearly, I think technology has also changed uh, the way you work, right? Has it changed the way you lead your people? Okay, I think technology does change how we lead our people because uh, you now have in this, especially this uh, this period of time, it is very uh, uh, evident who are good leaders and who are not. Uh, who are the ones that will step up? It, it's as the boss of the company, I I, I observe these things, uh, and and I know in my heart, right? Uh, it is also important to be able to find generals to to disseminate these things. So, for, from a leadership point of view, because I have four businesses, I cannot be at four places at the same time. So I need to depend, discuss on the side with my leaders, and then they do. So, for example, my F and B outlet. Basically, um, what really touches me is before I came out with the solution, I really have an idea. By the time I tell them, they say, oh yeah, yeah, we, we already have this in place. Not only do they have this in place, when they announced NOBA, they already decided what they're going to do with the NOBA. They already mm. talked through that. So they for, forward plan. So it is really my dream if everybody is like them, that they think ahead. You know? Yeah, so clearly you have established a culture of trust with the various teams that you have. But it may not come across to the staff like that because I still question them like where is this report, Why, right? So, so it's, it's very intricate to know that when you, a boss asks you, it doesn't mean that they don't trust. Mm. Sometimes, like I said, it's I don't know. Mm. Like, hey, why is this thing? Because I don't know because I'm not so clever. Huh? You know, the young people, they all know all the gadgets. Number two is because I really have my generals to go and handle so I don't need to handle personally. I see. Yeah. I think... It's very motivating to hear from you as a business owner and also we've learned so much things from you today. No, I learned so much things from you. <laughs> it's not the PowerPoint I must download. <laughs> In terms of like how you run your business, the challenges that you face um, owning the businesses and, and also for, for us as a corporate, I think it's probably, you would say that it's easier. Yeah. But uh, we also have to go through a lot of change because... I'm sure, yeah. yeah as well to move people to this new new normal, right? So, so I may think that because you're MNC, you just take direction from global, then, that, but then I have to make all the decisions. And, and let me just share one very important part is nobody really has the 100% correct answer. Correct. And as leaders, we just try our best, pray very hard that what we have made, uh, the decisions we made is correct. And, and sometimes, we, because there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of noise, I feel that we have to just go with our gut feel, mm. you know, and, and we can't even explain. Because when I look back at the past crisis that I've gone through, many a times, it was just really my gut feel that this is the right thing to do. And it may not always be the, the popular thing. And during a crisis, I have no intention to be popular. I am not there to be popular. I'm there to save my business and save your job. Agree, so that is agree. my role as a, as a boss of a company. Agree, agree. It's just a level of the fitness. Yes. And I, I think your, your companies will weather this through. I yeah. do believe you will. <laughs> Any final comments? Um, I think it's, it's important to stay and celebrate uh, little wins like what you say. Um, I just have one song for everybody. It's called the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> so regardless of what we're going through, let's like help each other. Like we help each other here. Let's uh, put down the, 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 the ranks, you know, and just cheer each other on. Because when this all things is, all this is over, we want to be very technology savvy. We want to be very connected. We want to have new, cre created new businesses and new ideas for ourselves already. So I think that's what I learned from the past and I hope that this new crisis, uh, I would also be able to do that. Um, so let me take this answer first. Yeah? So I think if you look at the SARS period, right, a lot of the technology Readiness is still not there, be it whether is it the network uh, bandwidth, um, the, the ability to do video conferencing is not there. Uh, the ability to do an event like this, a webinar, is probably not possible because there's not pos no protocol that is, uh, or applications that allow you to host an event that is 100 over people online. 
much okay, less the bandwidth. Voice, voice uh, much less the bandwidth, right? You can only probably do uh, voice, voice conferencing or, or you know talk through uh, conference. So I would say that 17 years down the road, uh, at this point in time, the technology is more ready to be able to allow business to continue running their business remotely yeah. uh, versus 17 years ago. So in, in, in some sense, means that we are a, we're a bit fortunate that it happens yes. now than then. Yes. Not that we are happy, it's here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Like I say, the first thing first is you must change. So uh, I, did, I didn't have time to go through. For all my businesses, the way we operate, the first thing is we have to change our mindset first. Okay? Change meaning to say that the way we, say for example, you are doing event, that's why we're changing to webinar. Uh, change, change the way we do within our own business, within our own, uh, what you call that, uh, industry. What can we change within it? Okay, which means to say last time I have zero delivery at my rooftop bistro because the rooftop bistro is so nice, got the skyline of the CBD. Then what's the point of delivery? So we don't do delivery at all. But then now, Bopian, right? So within the industry, within the tools that you existingly have, the assets that you existingly have, you have to change within there. I got so much chicken wing, then what to do, right? Ah. But so same for the artists. For the artists who used to host events and all this, they, they are now put out there to host webinars, host, host uh, uh, instead of shooting, they now shoot themselves with their handphone. So we just have to cl tell clients about proper lighting. Eh, uh, so within the industry, and I'm fortunate that uh, some, you know, like in, 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 in Fly, we have big stars, we have local stars, we have regional stars, global stars. I mean, something like this period of time, it is the Singapore stars that, that have used a lot, you know, so we have to push out more of our Singapore stars. And, and prior to this, uh, they, they, are, they are only looking at all this Hollywood, Hollywood, right, which is great for us as a Singapore company, for, for SME to be globally known. But then, this is the time that the Singapore artists become very prominent. So within your industry, you have to re rehash or push out different things immediately. Then it cannot. Then you see the manpower you have, the skill set you have. What can you re reuse that? I, I've already crossed, like for example, my driver in Fly, who got no artist to drive for event anymore, is now moved to Fry Bistro to deliver. One of the example that Irene quoted is very uh, relevant, right? Her, her bistro business. Um, even though now, if she ha she has now set up a deliver service yes, from today onwards, if you're lucky, I may <laughs> deliver to you. Mm. Correct. <laughs> and you see, today technology can seamlessly and immediately transfer out her menu, mm. what number to call, what is the price, which you can't do during SaaS time, right? I think that's the difference that you can see in in back then and now, mm. how technology can help the business to yes. continue to operate in the meantime. Yes, I think everybody don't give up and don't pay say to ask, okay, you want to ask anything, ask for help. This is a time where people know that, that we all need help. So don't pay stay. don't need to be hero. So basically for everyone to stay resilient, I think we can weather this through. Uh, we are here to help. Reach out to us anytime if you need any help. Yeah, if you are, if you are at home, very bored, uh, working too long on the video, then you join my Facebook, lah, ho, Fly Irene, Irene Ang. Then you ask me for a joke, lah, ho. okay? Then I feel free, I also have break. I and mean, then we all can have virtual coffee session or wine session, okay? Uh, I, 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 I'm most active after 10 p.m. Because from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., I need to work. <laughs> after that, I can, can drink wine. <laughs>